Hi everybody, so um, I wanted to do a separate video on how to do a quilted um, tag or mat. Uh, this is a five and a half by six inch folder. I like to put the quilting on the insides of your of the mats because um, if the quilting starts to stick up, then it won't get caught on anything. So the front, I'm just going to leave plain because it does stick in a pocket. And on the inside, we're going to do the quilting. So I have a five and three eighths by five and seven eighths mat that is just an eighth inch smaller. It's supposed to be an eighth inch smaller. It's just an eighth inch smaller than where you're going to put it here. And what you do is you need one big strip to go across the middle. And you can use one of the stickers if you have the stickers. I have this strip from the um, part page. Now what I like to do is fill the entire mat with about a one and a half inch grid of tape. That gives me a good basis to start. And then I put two diagonally. I keep all my scraps off to the side by size and shape so the long skinny ones are kind of separated versus the the bigger square ones. Chantel is a member of the ASC design team and she introduced me to the quilting method and then I independently researched some myself um, and there are a lot of resources for paper quilting. Mostly cards, but we can use it in our mini albums also. So the first strip you put diagonally on this type of quilting and then from there you put you line them up perpendicularly and you just start going around. So perpendicular to the middle strip and then you run the next strip perpendicular to the strip you just put. And you just keep doing that around and around. And each strip that you use you can actually use twice if it's long enough by flipping it over cutting them off and using the other side. I try and vary the shape and the size of the paper strips. And you can also use the stickers. Some of these I cut by hand and they're not quite straight, so it's overlapping onto the other. And you just keep rotating it and going perpendicular to the last piece you laid. I think I like that one better over here. 
Do a skinny one here. You just flip the card over, or the mat in this case, trim along And then you can take each one of these and use them again. Flip them over, use the other side. Okay, and then we flip it over again, and do the same thing. You won't be able to use these for paper folding in that kind of technique, uh, unless you cut them back down, but there are other different ways that you can use these in paper quilting. If they're long enough. So if you're so in so inclined to keep them, you should keep them. Okay, and then you just take your mat. 
in this one. You can put it like that. Um, I should have probably put the quilting on the outside, but I'll put it like that. 